major sponsors for Ableton On Air include Green Mountain Support Services of Vermont, Washington County Mental Health, Ale Israel. Food sponsors for Ableton On Air include Geffen Foods Israel, Osem Foods Israel. Major media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, U.S. Press Corps, Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Hello and welcome to this edition of Ableton On Air, the one and only program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements of the differently able. I've always been your host, Lauren Seiler. Arlene is here today on the phone. Say hi, Arlene. Hello, this is Arlene Seiler. Okay. And, and welcome to Able to Learn Air. And on this edition, before we get to the second part of the Able to Learn Air election special, let's thank our sponsors, Washington County Mental Health, Green Mountain Support Services, and many, 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 many others. Um, thank you to our sponsors. Uh, now let's go to the second part of the election uh, special of Able to On Air. Uh, before we get to the numbers of, um, of the uh, electoral votes, let's... Um, really explain in simple terms to um, our viewing audience who happens to be um, people with special needs and um, uh, people that serve um, people with special needs and who really don't understand the electoral college. So I'm going to uh, really explain this. Um, and you can find this on Wikipedia. So the simple answer to what the electoral college is is um, the United States Electoral College in simple terms, which can be find, uh, found on Wikipedia. The okay, so the United States Electoral College is a name. It's not a real college, but it is, a it is the name to describe the official 538 elect uh, president electors who come uh, every four years during a presidential election. Okay? Uh, to give their official votes to president, to the president and vice president of the United States, the number of each of the electors of each state is determined by the number of um, the representatives a state has. So we have, uh, so you know, we have uh, several states. And um, so it's given that name. Um, there are 435 representatives in total and 100 senators. The 23rd Amendment of, to the Constitution awarded Washington, D.C. three electors. Combined, there is a total of 538 electors. Electors usually vote for a winner <coughs> of their popular vote in the state. In some states, they vote depending on the popular vote in each congressional district. The Constitution leaves states to decide how electors will vote. Faithless electors are faith, faith, faithless electors are electors, and um, that they vote against the popular vote. they there's a fine line there. There is a fine in some states um, if the um, elections are thrown. The electoral college was created by founding father, the founding fathers of the United States, and they were afraid that the popular vote would be easily swayed. Um, because congressional representatives determined by, are determined by more electors, m because most states have to take a winner and, of a take-all system, and the winner of the popular vote in 
the state gain, gained all the electors. Several presidents have lost the popular vote and won the electoral vote. A candidate needs to win a majority of electors. So let's go back and let me read the rest of this so you guys understand it. The Electoral College plays a very important role in today's elections and is the subject of a lot of controversy and some people approve of the system, some don't, some do not. Um, and that is what the Electoral College is in simple terms. Anything you want to say about that uh, and the reason why people with special needs should vote? Yeah. So, um, because, um, otherwise, we're not going to be, if you don't vote, we're not going to be included. So, we, why shouldn't we, we be? And the reason why a lot of people, and the reason why a lot of people don't vote is that for many years there's been, uh, situations with not having, um, the polling places accessible. Um, and they're trying to change that in a lot of states that to have m more accessible polling places, um, which because uh, how is one with special needs going to get in there if they don't have accessible? Yeah. So now, why don't we do this and show it's going to be um, uh, in editing. So, so that's the election as it stands now. Um, the election results as it stands now, and the map will be shown. So right now, it is frozen with Joe Biden at 264 and Donald Trump at 214. So the map, um, will, uh, then the map, um, and we'll be putting, um, that this map is from the Associated Press. The Associated Press has not called the race, so they are not in charge of the race. They have not called it. Um, but um, the the map is on computer is on your computer. You can go to it, and um, it's from the Associated Press. And as it's been updated as from eleven um, eleven forty three. AM and this is um this is live as it happens. So uh, as eleven forty three AM uh, we're still at two sixty four and you need two seventy to win. Okay. So the reason why it's been frozen, so um I'm try to e explain to you why this is happening. Um because because of COVID nineteen and um, Vermont has an uptick in COVID cases. But because of COVID-19, um, just so people with special needs, uh, our viewing audience can understand, uh, is that um, a lot of um, votes um, haven't been counted yet because um, the ballots were mailed home to people's homes so they, um, because they don't want to go to the polls. So it's, a, in a sense, an absentee ballot um, if you're not at the polls. Um, <clears throat> you know, there's an uptick in Vermont because probably too many people were at the polls or that kind of thing. So um, as we stand now, um, you know, Joe Biden has 264 and Donald Trump has 214. Um, um, and as I said in the other, in part one of the of our election special, uh, I'm going to repeat some of the things because this is extremely important. Joe Biden, um, even though I'm impartial, being a journalist, um, there are certain candidates that do do more for um, our population. You know, people with special needs, and it's extremely important to go over. Of, uh, to go over some of that um, in terms of what Joe Biden 
will do for our for the special needs population um and um let's go over that okay joe biden's page um simply says wait, wait um joe biden coalition here so there's a coalition for biden um if anybody wants to volunteer for his campaign um you know it's joebiden.com forward slash disability coalition but there there is um you know um to fully ensure uh what according to the Americans with Disabilities Act you know people with special needs need of a, uh, a shot of getting ahead so Joe Biden is going to be um if he gets in as president he will be um having more jobs and more services for people with disabilities um and um you know similar to what um Bernie Sanders is doing uh for our beautiful state of Vermont now he's giving um um people with special needs a lot of services and it's very important um Biden's disability I'm going to go over this according to the the newspaper uh or the website um it's called the nation so nation.com there's an article uh here um Biden's disability policy is surprisingly good how his campaign how, um is not yet consistent but it will be get, getting more consistent to help uh people with special needs um you know he's going to be uh given more jobs and more services more medical care but basically um Biden is going to put back what Donald Trump took away and according to Donald Trump's campaign um Donald Trump wants to really get rid of um special needs services but let's see just so you guys you the viewers have an idea what Donald Trump did for people with special needs um disability services let's see what he did well he did he did mark the reporter yeah but we're not talking about that um yes um uh, back in 2016 he did um he did mark people with special needs um but yeah Trump's administration let's see July 11th uh 2020 um according to disability scoop here um Donald Trump uh but he released aid for disability service providers so according to the US Department of Health and Human Services uh back in July uh 15 billion dollars will go towards providers serving individuals covered by Medicaid and children's health insurance programs including people with special needs. Um so yeah Trump is doing things but he's not doing enough in our opinion. Um he needs to do more. And if he does become president Trump in, in my opinion needs to stop mocking people with disabilities. You can't go on TV, you can't go on television and mock uh the press or mock reporters or mock people. Um you know, if you're going to help people, you can't mock them, you have to be with them, you know? So, that's just my personal opinion. Um in terms of being part of the press. You know, he shuts he tells the 
the press in in his uh, in the press room, um, you know, shut your mouth, don't open your mouth, that kind of thing. He can't do that. Um, you know, he told somebody from CBS News um, recently uh, not to talk. So it, it, it's not it's not a good thing. Anything you want to say about that? Hello, Arlene. Anything you want to say about that? About how Trump, how Trump should act as president towards people with special needs? Neil deserves to be president. Okay, that's your opinion. Um, okay. All right. Um, so, uh, yeah, so, so let's go over again really what... Um, Let's go back to the page that we need to go back to. Um, okay, can you stop? Can you not do that? Um, okay, so um, let's go back to Biden's disability policy. And really talk about that. Um, so, yeah, it's surprisingly good. Um, there, there has been damage, according to some advocates, there has been damage um, to the ADA. Um, we need to have, get rid of more curb cuts. We need to have more ramps. Uh, we need to have um, certain things. Um, but according to um, to Biden, Biden's disability um, policy in, in terms of COVID-19 is roughly equivalent. Uh, uh, this is a, according to one reporter's opinion. Um, basically, due to COVID-19, a lot of um, services have were shut um, for people with special needs. So according to this reporter um, from the from the nation.com article, uh, it says, um, because of COVID-19, it's like a car being on fire and your mechanic is suggesting a plan to replace the brakes. Uh, rotate the tires and change the oil. According to uh, nation .com, um, a nation.com reporter. So yeah, um, a lot of services need to be put back in place. You can't, during COVID-19, a lot of um, services were taken away. Um, if a person with a disability needs an epilepsy specialist, you can't shut the office down, you know? Um, so things like that need to um, change. And according to Governor Scott, matter of fact, let's go to COVID-19 since we're talking about that, and the elections at the same time because it's... Um, it's related, yeah. It's related. So let's, uh, disability. You're rustling papers. Don't do that. Hmm? You're rustling papers. Oh, sorry. Um, res, um, this, uh, the, the microphone, the microphone. Disability, mask wearing. Vermont. Vermont. Okay. Um. Oh, here we go. This is important. Back in August, um, Scott mandated, Governor Scott mandated for people with uh, everybody to wear a mask, okay? However, however, uh, this is according to the VT Digger, uh, Governor Scott said, uh, said uh, in August to, that he issued everybody to wear a mask and cover their faces out in public during COVID-19. Um, however, if you are, let me go back down to the part here, it's um, important here. 
Um, you, if the mask is hurting you because you're 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 disabled, you don't have to wear it. Um, but it's mandated for everybody else to wear it. Um, you know, that's basically what's... I'm just trying to look for the part here where it said that. Oh, here it, here it is. Um, yeah, for those wearing a mask, according to the VT Digger, for those wearing a mask and that you're concerned for those who aren't, I am asking you to give them the benefit of the doubt. Um, you cannot attack or shame anybody with a disability uh, for not wearing a mask, because the, there could be a reason why um, they're not wearing a mask. So if if it's mentally straining you, or you're not able to wear a mask, you don't have to wear uh, a mask. Just um, just social distance, basically. So um, it's really important um, that we need to wear a mask, though. If, if you are um, going on a GMTA bus or you are um, going somewhere that requires you to wear a mask, like a store or something like that. Um, but if you are disabled, you don't have to wear one, um, but you are responsible to um, social distance. Um, you know, getting back to the election map, uh, we really hope that um, according to um, the Electoral College and those that um, really um, need it, that really need to understand, we really hope that um, this election special uh, really helped um, people understand it. And uh, we wish the right candidate uh, to... Um, to win, um, but in terms, in terms of this commentary that I'm going to be giving in a second, so let me go to the commentary because it's really important. Um, for the past 25 years, I have been um, a journalist, and um, you know, helping people with special needs understand themselves and. Uh, understand the ability that they have despite their challenge and despite their disability. Um, I am stepping back from voting. Uh, I am independent, uh, but I am stepping back from voting and will not vote in any election due to the fact that I am in the press and, um, you know, I need to remain impartial. Uh, we hope that um, the right person does win, and um, being impartial, just so um, you everybody understands. Let me look up the word impartial so um, people understand what that means. Let me define what impartial means, and then we'll end the show. Define impartial. Impartial means um, and it's, what is impartial? British English, uh, um, impart, being impartial, especially for an election, means that you are able to act, that you are able to act fairly because you are, are not personally involved in the situation. Um, yes, we are advocates. Um, I don't like what's going on with the current president uh, and what he's doing, but um, I'm not liberated to say, um, you know, really say, yes, I think there should be more services that he should do for um, people with special needs and certain things. Um, like he shouldn't put, I, I feel that he should not put a person with a disability inside an institution. Uh, people with special needs should not be in institutions. But 
Um, that's my personal opinion. But yes, I need to remain impartial uh, being a journalist, so I will not be voting in any presidential election. Let the right person win. Uh, anything you want to say to that in before we end the show? I want to say that help the right person is not Mr. T. Well, that is your that is your that is your um. Mm -hmm. You know, everything should be accessible and, and to, you know, make everything just right. Mm -hmm. um, as a matter of fact, there is, um, I know comedy uh, makes, um, you know, certain things um, better for people due to COVID. So I'm going to uh, see if you guys can hear this. I'm going to... There's a clip. We, we're going to put this in editing because I think it might be good. And uh, I'm going to play the audio excerpt. Um, see, because my, my, yeah. So let's, here we go. As far as temperament, I think I have a great temperament. I built a phenomenal business with incredible, iconic assets. I've had tremendous success with number one bestsellers all over the place and everything else I've done. But I will tell you this, what I am far and away greater than an entertainer is a businessman. And that, believe me, my temperament is very good, very calm. You! And with that, we and with that, we end this edition of Able to Learn Air. I'm Lauren Seiler. I'm Arnie Seiler. See you next time. Thank you to our sponsors. Major sponsors for Able to Learn Air include Green Mountain Support Services of Vermont, Washington County Mental Health, Ale Israel. Food sponsors for Able to Learn Air include Geffen Foods Israel, Osem Foods Israel. Major media sponsors for Able to Learn Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, U.S. Press Corps, Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify.